Amen. We are all welcome to this uh, prayer meeting. This is our online prayer meeting. We thank the Lord for how the Lord has been helping us for his wisdom, his grace upon our lives. And in this new month that we are, we are going to we are believing God for something new. Please arrest something, something extraordinary that God will accomplish upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This new month, God will lift up everybody. Amen. And in this new month, there will be divine intervention in our lives, in our church, in our ministry, in our family, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's ask the word of prayer so that we can start our prayer now. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you because the Bible says where two or three are gathered together in your name, you are there in their midst. We bless your name for your greatness in our lives. We bless your name for your faithfulness in our lives. We bless your name for all what you have been doing in our lives. Thank you for the previous month. Thank you for the dominion. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the success. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for what you have accomplished in our lives previous month. I will bless you for carrying us over this new month of August. We appreciate your love. We appreciate your mercy. We appreciate your goodness. Father, we pray. Receive all the praises and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. As we gather once again through this uh, prayer, online prayer, I'm asking and praying, Spirit of the living God, the grace to pray, the anointing to pray, the spirit of supplication, and the spirit of prayer. We are asking, we are praying. You will pour the spirit of prayer and supplication upon our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. To knock the gate of heaven as we pray. We pray heaven will be open. We ask as we pray. We pray you will descend in our midst. We pray every mountain. We pray every yoke, every fetter. You will take all those things away from the life of your people. And after the prayer tonight, strength of power. We all upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are about to launch into the session of prayer. Holy Ghost, we commit this prayer online into your hand. Take charge. Take control of what we are going to do today. In this prayer online, I ask, I pray, you will take absolute control. At the end of the program tonight, you only and your name will be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you because we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, before we actually launch into the section of prayer, as usual, I want to exhort us just in a brief minute, some seconds or minutes, from the Word of God so that we can prepare our mind and to know to seek the face of the Lord. I read from the book of Second. Chronicles chapter 7. Second Chronicles chapter 7. I read from verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter 7. I read from verse 14. If 
my people. These are the redeemed of the Lord. He, my people. These are the call out of the world. Call out. Send of the living God. He, my people. Which are called by my name. That humble their say. And pray. And seek my face. And talk from their wicked way. Then will I up from heaven. I will forgive their sin. I will eat the land. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The word of God is saying us tonight that we, the people of God, we that we are called out of the world, we that our name is the people of life, we, the people of God, we are not the enemy of God any longer because we have sent Jesus into our life. If people who are called by my name that humble their say. God wants us to be humble because God resisted the pride and give grace to the humble that humble their say. We need to humble ourselves because there is a condition that attacks our prayer to be answered. If they shall humble their say, not somebody humbling you, you humble yourself. And pray. And pray. And seek my face. God expect us to pray. To seek his face. And then, not fall from the wicked way. Yeah? The word of God says, then, on the day, like heart from heaven. Right? God will hear our supplication from heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. And I will forgive their sin. You see, sin is Satan identity number. S I N. Satan identity number. And the Bible say, God said he will forgive their sin. And he will see. So this is the first time we can examine our life, our heart, our thoughts, our life. All the prayer of the wicked is a foundation unto the Lord. Because if I regard the iniquity in my heart, the Lord has been. Before we pray, let's look at Psalm 66, verse 18. Psalm 66. I read for verse 18. What does God say? He, my people, keep a God, keep it in my heart. The Lord, Lord, hear me. So God expects us to force our heart, force our life, and then. All other things have been had. Seeking for the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Every other thing we ask tonight, all our petitions, all our supplications, the Bible says the Lord will answer our prayers. And the Lord will visit everyone tonight and there will be a blessing in your life, in your family. Lord. Our expectation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's, 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 go, let's go into the Lord of Prayer. I want you to close your eyes and begin to appreciate God. Let's begin to thank the Lord and bless the name of the Lord. Glorify the Lord, exalt the Lord, worship the Lord. Bless holy name. Oh, keep Thanks unto the Lord. Let's give thanks unto the Lord. Let's worship Him. Glorify Him. Let's exalt the name of the Lord. Time for us to pray now. I want to hear you. I want to hear your voice. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless. His holy name. I want you to take some time to begin to appreciate God. 
for who he is. If you pay sins of being, appreciate God for who he is. He's a king of kings. Appreciate God for who he is. He's the Lord of hosts. I wish you open your mouth. Appreciate him. Is the over Rafa. Is the over Edoy. Is the over Sikhen. Is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Beside it, there is no any other savior. Give only a him alone to be glorified. Bless his name, exalt his name, magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all this benefit. My brother, look at the benefit of God in your life and in your family. And forget not all this benefit. My sister. Look at the benefits of God in your life and in your household. And forget not all the benefits. Derek, look at the benefit of God of all the life of your children and your household. And forget not all the benefits. Let the Lord for my soul. And forget not. Recall the goodness of God in your life. Recall. The wonders of God in your life. Recall the protection of God in your life. Recall the goodness and what God has been accomplished in your life. Appreciate Him. Celebrate Him. Adore Him. Worship Him. Magnify Him. Last month of July has ended yesterday. This is a new month. For grace in your life, thank you for that. For victory and dominion that God gives to you, thank God for that. You being alive today is the Lord mercy. You are not consumed. Thank God for that. For God protecting you, keeping you, watching over you, guiding you, providing for you, thank God for that. You are alive today. Thank God for that. Your body system is functioning very well. Thank God for that. For goodness and mercy in your life, thank God for that. For the fulfillment of God's promises in your life. Thank God for that. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Magnify the name of the Lord. Our God is a good God. Our God is a compassionate God. If you thank God, your cup, your thanks will be full. If you worship Omega, you will grow mega. Give him the glory. He or he only a him. A Lord is worthy of our praise. He said, My glory will lie not share with any other. Give him the glory that you come to him. Praise him the Lord. My brother, look at your life. What has helped you in life? My sister, look at your life. What has sustained you in life? Oh, we can all say that church as swear. God has been empty most animal souls, visitors, and God has been meeting for the connect of our life each day, each week, each month, day by day. We are going stronger in the grace of God. God, we thank you for your grace. God, we thank you for your compassion. God, we thank you for your faithfulness. God, we thank you for your provision. God, we thank you for your hand of God in our life. God, we thank you. We celebrate you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. You are worthy. You are great. You are powerful. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of all. You are the ancients of days. You are the ideal that I am. You are the Arufuoto. You are the Oba Mini. Meaning you are the Oba Tiki. Oh, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. Glory be to your name. We celebrate you, O God, for who you are. Wonderful God. Great God, El Shaddai, mighty God, mighty to be saved. Oh, my brother, God is so kind to you. Oh, my sister, God has set you in life. He has shown you a token of his goodness. A book last month of July can be wonders of God in your life. Last month of July, goodness of God in your life. Last month of July, look at all God in your life. We worship your name, God. We pray that we Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord of all. Thank you, Excellency. Give the glory. Give the honor. Most of our Lord.
He pulled the Ahimi Lung. Walk of our praise. Walk of our adoration. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. This is a new month. And this new month, more of the accomplished great in our life in this new month. Oh, yeah, because the Bible says, Remember you know the things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now, it shall spring forth. I must know it. I will even take a river in the place of the pray. They are going to talk to me. Tonight, the Lord continue in my life. You said in your word, Behold, I will do a new thing. I want you to open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord to do something new in your life. This new day, this new month, oh God, do something new in my life. Do something new in my family. Do something new in my ministry. Oh Lord, do something new. Open your mouth and pray now. Let's come upon the Lord. Let's stand on the promise of God. I cannot pay. Standing on the promise of God. I cannot pay. I cannot be denied. I will do a new thing. Let's come upon the Lord. What is that new thing, your expectation? Talk to God in prayer. Behold. I will do a new thing. What are your expectations? What are you what are you expecting from the Lord? Why can't you talk to God and pray about God? Do something new in my life. Show me a talking of good that they would hate me, may see it and be ashamed. God will show you a talking of his of his goodness. God will show you a talking of his goodness in your life. A talking of his goodness in your family. A Talking of his goodness in your career, the Lord will do it, he will perfect it because when we stand upon the word of God, he honors all by his name, he respects his word. The scripture cannot be broken. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Why can't you talk to God in prayer tonight and ask the Holy Ghost, Oh Lord, do something new in my life, do something new in the life of my wife. Do something new in the life of my husband. Do something new in the life of my children. Take me to the next level. Lift me up and lift me higher. Behold, I will do a new thing. Why can't you come upon the Lord in this new month? Ask the Lord to do something new in your family. In this new month, ask the Lord to visit you. In this new month, as the Lord remember Anna, God will remember you. In this new month, the Lord Almighty will stretch forth his hand and do something new in your life, something new in your family, something new in your house. Oh, God, do something new. As your people lift up, lift up their voices as they are going upon your name, Father, do something new, something new in each home and each family. Behold, I will do a new thing. The God of overdose will do something new in your life. The God of, of overdose will we, 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 we undo all the enemies of progress out of your life. The God of overdose, I am the Lord. Why, why can't you come upon the Lord and let God begin to do something new in you and through you? You will have the testimony. You cannot afford to remain the same after Hello? tonight. For your meeting, the Lord Hello? in His power. The Lord in His strength and His and His, his might is going to do something great and something new, something marvelous. And then shall so I have testimony? Let's pray and let's call upon the name of the Lord. Ask the Lord to do something new in your life. And for that pray, it's time for prayer. My sister, pray. It's time, hour to pray. We will not pay. We will not pay. We will always answer our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power of working in us. Okay. 
able to pray that the God and the able to do all things. Commit family to the hands of the Lord. The Lord be perfect. That need to be taken Open your mouth and pray. It's time to pray. This is the hour of prayer. This is the section of prayer. Let God perfect everything that needs to be perfected in your life. Perfect song. In your family, perfect song. In your career, perfect song. In your business, perfect song. In your ministry, perfect song. In your life of your children, perfect song. Life of your wife, perfect song. Oh Lord, perfect. What is lacking in our life? Oh Lord, perfect. Everything that needs to be perfected. Oh Lord, call the table around. Oh God, perfect. Behold, the Lord will perfect everything in your life. Oh my sister. Pray, my brother, the Lord will do it. The Lord, the Lord will move in His power. This is a new month. It's a new day. A new month with a new blessing. A new month with a new anointing. A new month with a new victory. A new month with a new grace. A new month with abundant grace. What that you call upon the Lord, and God will perfect every day. You shall go from grace to grace, from strength to strength, from glory to glory. Pray. The strength of God will be sufficient into your life. This is a new month. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. God told Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. This new month, you are going to ask the Lord that God's grace will be sufficient in your life this month and throughout your life. Time you're out. You're going to ask the Lord, Oh Lord, give me sufficient grace in this new month. Oh Lord, give me sufficient grace in this new month. Each month come with challenges. Each month come with challenges and, and, and problems. Each month come with different challenges. You are going to ask the Lord, Oh Lord, in this new month, give me sufficient grace to come to this month. Oh Lord, in this new month, give me sufficient grace to contain and to stop the pain. Oh Lord, this new moment, pour your grace upon my life to overcome all challenges and trials and temptations and problems in my head this morning. In this new moment, oh Lord, give me a border grace of time. Let's call upon the Lord. You need grace, sufficient grace. You need grace, abundant grace. You need grace, overflowing grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall go from grace to grace, from part to part, from strength to strength. It is sufficient grace for God to rub this grace to the head. This no more I need abundant grace. The Lord will put the grace in your life. The Lord will pour the spirit of grace in work in your life. Life. You shall run away this month. You shall push by this month. You shall hate this month where in the grace of God we will we fix your system. You will not fall. You will not fail. You will not you 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 there's no traffic jam in your life. This month is going to be a new, new authority, a new dominion. Grace of God in your life. This is a moment of dominion. This is a moment of power. This is a moment of authority. This is a moment of success. This is a moment of freedom. This is a moment of revival. This is a moment of holiness. This is a moment of spiritual strength in your life. Pray, oh Lord, give me grace. Grace of continue. Grace of pray. Grace of carry. Grace of work for you. Grace of grace of peace and holy with your wings. Continue to teach you. We will not defeat you. The world will not conquer you. Satan, Satan, Satan will not capture you. The grace of God in your life will flow. Grace of God, grace. Grace for grace. Sufficient grace. Abundant grace. All kinds of grace for your soul. your life. You shall see what I need. of the glory of God in your life. No failure in your life. When grace comes in your life. No defeat in your life. When grace comes in your life. No setback in your life. When grace comes in your life. No I didn't get time with this coffee. The claims of our Lord Jesus, working your life, working your soul, working your soul. Oh, no, 
ourselves in this prayer wherever we are please nobody should allow distraction in this prayer if you want to talk to anybody please do not put the phone close to you because in the first prayer I can hear some people were talking while some were laughing we are in the presence of God 
and I want us all to behave ourselves. Can we all hear me? Yes. Please, I want to appeal to us. Let's all behave ourselves. We are in the presence of God. And then I pray that as we all obey, as we comply, the Lord will bless each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I wish everyone happy new months. Amen. Before we continue... Before we continue, I want to read Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. If you have your Bible with you there, you can open. But if you don't have your Bible with you, kindly pay attention. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. And I'm saying to you today, being the first day in the month of August, if only you believe, as our first pastor, as I just led us, if only you believe, all things are possible to you that believe it. Those were the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then today, as we call upon his name, I am believing the Lord that he will answer all our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know what you have been looking up to God for. I don't know what has been the challenge in your life all through this season, in the past few, few months. I don't know what has been giving you challenges in your life. Only you believe the Lord, all things will come to pass in Jesus' name. Before we go into our prayer, I want to also read from Third John chapter 2. Third John chapter 2. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. You see, it is the will of God that we prosper in whatsoever we are doing. But in the case that the prosperity of the Lord is not coming as it ought to be, you know, there is always need for us to pray and also seek the face of the Lord and ask the Lord, Lord, this is your promise. Why is your promise not coming to pass in my life? And today we are going to pray with this passage of the Bible. He said, Beloved, I wish you above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper it. The Lord has promised us good health. He has also promised us prosperity. First and foremost, you're going to pray and talk to the Lord. If you have any form of sickness in your body, any ailment in your body, you will pray, Oh Lord, your will is that you know you will give me good health. Father, give unto me good health. We hope in your mouth, Lord, as many who are, you know, having one sickness or the other in the, in the body, you will pray and talk to the Lord. It is your will that I have good health. Today I am calling upon your name. Give me good health from today. Open your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord. Pray that the Lord will give you good health. Whatever has been bringing this, you know, you know continual sickness in your body, Whatever has been bringing this ailment, this sickness in you, you will talk to the Lord. Look at the passage we just read now. Beloved, I wish you above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. The Lord has always wants us to be in good health. It is not the will of God that we visit one hospital to the other every month. There are some people, they keep visiting hospital every month. That's not the will of God. Pray, O oh Lord, you have promised me good health. Let me have good health from today. Let good health be my portion. Let me have good health from today. Take sickness away from my life. Take all this infection and all these diseases away from me. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Pray that the Lord will give you good health. If you have anyone who is also sick in the hospital, pray for that individual. That the Lord will give that person good health. The Lord has promised us good health. That is the promise of the Lord for you and for me and for every one of us. He said, Beloved, I wish you above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health. 
it is the will of God that you be in good health. It is the will of God that you have good health. What is denying you from that good health? What is injuring you from that good health? Oh Lord, give me good health. In this new month of August, I need new health. In this new month of August, I don't want to visit any hospital. Lord, give me good health. Lord, give me good health. Lord, give me good health. I need good health, oh Lord. You have promised me good health. Lord, let me have good health. Let this good health be my portion. Let this good health be my portion. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 You know, in that passage where we read, it is God, the Lord said, you know, that I wish you above all things that I may just prosper and be in good health. You're going to pray and talk to the Lord once again. From today, 1st of August to December 31st, I declare good health for myself. I declare good health for my husband. I declare good health for my children. I declare good health for my wife. Lord, my family, good health. None of us will be admitted from now to December. Open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. We will not spend our money in the hospital for the remaining days, for the many months of this, of this year. Oh Lord, give us this good health. Help us to enjoy good health. Me and my entire home will enjoy this good health. Father, we will enjoy good health. You have promised us good health. Let this good health be our portion. Let this good health be our portion. Oh Lord, good health will be our portion. Me and my entire family, let us have good health. Give us this good health. Help us to enjoy this good health. We say no to sicknesses. We say no to diseases. We say no to flu. We say no to diseases. We say no to malaria or any fever. Father, we say no to sickness. In my body, in the body of my wife, in the body of my children, I say no to fever. I say no to sickness. They will not live with sickness anymore. Oh Lord, in this new in this new month, give us good health. Give us good health. Give us good health. Give us good health. Lord, we need good health. You have promised us good health. Let this good health be our portion. Father, let this good health be our portion. You have promised us good health. Let this good health be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, let this good health be our portion. Let good help be our passion. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In that same passage where we read, it said uh, that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. You will pray and talk to the Lord. You know, it is not the will of God that any of his children should be begging, beg for this, beg for that, beg for this, or borrow this, or borrow that. The Lord said that thou, that thou mayest prosper. He wants us to prosper in everything we do. You will open your mouth and talk to the Lord. If possible, open your palms, your two hands, open it and say, Lord, prosper my hand from today. Let this, my hand, prosper from today. You will open those hands. Just open them down. You say, Lord, let this, my hand, prosper from today. Anything I lay this hand upon will prosper. Anything I do with this hand will prosper. Anything I touch with this hand will prosper. Anybody, anything I do, Lord, it will prosper. Hope, pull your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let him hear you tonight. Let him hear you today. Father, whatever I lay this hand upon from today will prosper. Whatever I do with this hand today will prosper. Whoever I thought, any person I touch with this hand will be healed. Lord, let me prosper. Prosper my hand, O Lord. Prosper my hand, O Lord. Prosper my hand, O Lord. It is your will that I, that I may have prosper. You told me that, that, that I may have prosper and be in good health. Even as my soul prospered. Lord, prosper my hands. Lord, prosper my hands. From today, in this new world, Father, prosper me. Let me enjoy this prosperity. Heavenly prosperity. Divine 
new prosperity. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are still talking to the Lord in prayer. We are in the new months. The past six months have come, has gone. Seventh month must be a month of testimony. Because seventh stands for perfection. And that is why we are taking this prayer in this dimension. You will pray and talk to the Lord. Lord, in this new month, this seventh, this new month, help me to enjoy your prosperity. Help me to enjoy heavenly prosperity. Help me that I will enjoy this heavenly prosperity. Hope pull your mouth and talk to the Lord. In this eight month, eight month, I will enjoy this prosperity of the Lord. Father, help me to enjoy your prosperity. Hope pull your mouth and talk to the Lord. Oh Lord, I will enjoy your prosperity. Because you have promised me that I, I will prosper in all I do. Father, help me. Father, help me. In this eight month, I will prosper. You will prosper everything I do. All my ideas will be prospered. All my plans will be prospered. All my ways will be prospered. All my all my thinking, all my thoughts will be prospered. Lord, you will prosper me. Father, you will prosper me. Lord, you will prosper me. In this new month, Father, let me enjoy this prosperity. Every prosperity, every prosperity, every prosperity, every prosperity, Lord, I will enjoy it. 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 Every prosperity will be my portion. Every prosperity will be my own portion. Father, every prosperity will be my portion. It will be my portion from today. 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 The blessings of this passage will be enriched, will be seen, will be manifested in my life, O oh Lord. Talk to the Lord about it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lastly, in this first section, you will talk to the Lord. That whatever has been bringing disappointment upon your life, disappointment, whatever has been causing injustices and delay, from today, the Lord will put an end to it. From today, the Lord will put an end to every form of distraction. The Lord will put embargo to them in your life, over your life. Open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. Oh Lord, in my life from today, put an end to hindrances. Put an end to failure. Put an end to no, no, no distraction. Let me be more focused in all I do. Put an end to distractions in my life. I will be focused in this new month. In this new month, you will bless me. My life will yield more fruit. My life will yield more fruit. My life will yield more fruit. Lord, do it for me. Lord, do it for me. Lord, do it for me. Talk to the Lord in prayer. We don't associate with any of us. We pray in this new month, all the embargo of the past gone by. In this new month, all the setback in the past gone by. In this new month, all the delay in the past gone by. In this new month, we pray for In this new month, we pray for In this new month, we pray for all. 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 In to me, we pray. Amen. 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 I want to remind us, remind us something before we go into this prayer. We don't have much time again. I'm sure we still remember the story of David and Saul. Saul was an enemy to David, despite Jonathan was leaking the secret of his father. 
to David about all that the plans, the evil plans that uh, Saul has been planning against David. But we give glory to God because God was on the side of David and all the evil plans that you know Saul had against David never came to pass. And we saw that the Lord made all his plan to perish. All the plans of Saul was just perish. He couldn't accomplish any of his plan. But before we take this prayer, I want to read Psalm 112, verse 10. Psalm 112, verse 10. You know, we are praying, we are taking this prayer from the last uh, paragraph. It says, the wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall garnish with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Over your life, over your family, every desire of the wicked shall perish in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will pray and talk to the Lord. In this new month from today, every desire of the wicked over my life, my family, Lord, let them turn to perish. Let the desire of the wicked be perish. Let the desire of the wicked fall to perish. Let their desire perish. Let their desire perish. The desire of the wicked over my life perish. Father, let the desire of the wicked over my children perish. The desire of the enemy over my children perish. Let the desire of the wicked over my children perish. Let the desire of the wicked over my children perish. Let the desire of the wicked over my children perish. Over your business, over your business, over your ministry, Lord, let the desire of the wicked perish. Father, the desire of the wicked, over my life, over my family, over my children, over my children, let the desire of the wicked perish. 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 that passage we have just read is a real prayer that everyone needs to pray you no know, pray take that prayer serious we are taking that prayer again david said let the desire of the wicked perish. I don't know in what area the enemy, the wicked one, has been after your life. I don't know in what area you've not been happy with your marriage. I don't know in what area the enemy has afflicted you or they are, or they are afflicting you. You will open your mouth and pray once again. Oh, Lord. From this very day in this new month, let the desire of the wicked perish. Lord, let the desire turn to perish. Let the desire of the wicked perish. Open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Oh, my Father, let the desire of the wicked turn to perish. Let them not succeed the evil plan. Let them not accomplish the evil plan. Let them let the evil plan never come to pass over my life. Lord, let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Father, over my life, over my wife, over my children, let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. Let the desire of the wicked talk to pay. 
I read from Psalm 118, verse 17. Psalm 118, reading from verse 17, it said, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. He said, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. In this new month of August, death will not take over any members of your family in Jesus' name. Amen. You are going to pray, you will talk to the Lord. You will open your mouth and pray. Please, I want everyone to take this prayer very, very serious. The psalmist says in Psalm 118, verse 17, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You will pray, Father, everything attached to death over my life, over my husband's life, over my children's life, I cancel it. Everything, anything I pass to me, over the Jesus members Christ, of my family, I pass to me. I will not bury anybody. I will not bury my husband. My husband will not bury me. I will not bury my children. I will not bury my children. I will not bury my children. Over my life, over my member of my family, I pass to me. Lord, I pass to you. I will not bury my children. Over my life, over my husband, over my children. Over my life, I pass to you. I will not bury my children. we will not die the spirit of petulo you will take that Amen. 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 You know, in any or any organization, at the end of the year, they normally take stock to see their performance for the year and to also record their profits for the year. Any organization that is trying to take stock at the end of the section or at the end of the year and discover they are at loss, not that organization will not be happy. They will be looking at a way of making more profit so as to sustain the organization, to sustain the staffs, and to sustain the company as a whole. You know, uh, we are going to take this prayer in this form. We will pray and talk to the Lord that in this new month of August, from now to December, Lord, separate me from the hand of the wicked one. Any wicked friend, wicked fellow, 
that has been dining with me secretly. Lord, separate me from this wicked one. That wicked man, that wicked in-law, that wicked uh, friend. Lord, separate me from the wicked ones. From today, Lord, separate me, separate me. Open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. So that the Lord will separate me from the wicked one. Oh Lord, oh Lord, separate my family from the wicked one. Separate me from the wicked one. Separate me from the wicked one. Lord Jesus, I look upon you. That has been bringing you down. You ought to have been going up, but you make some pro- you make small progress today, and tomorrow you make a lot of big losses. You know it's been happening. Progress today, loss tomorrow. You will pray and talk to the Lord. Every, any evil hand, evil hand that has been bringing me down, evil hand that has been planning to bring me down totally. Lord, cut yeah. away that evil hand away from my life. Cut the way evil hand away from my family. Evil hand attached to my life. Evil hand attached to my family. Father, let that evil hand dry up. Let that evil hand dry up. Cut off my evil hand, the Lord. Cut off my evil hand, the Lord. Every evil hand that has been attached to my life. Every evil hand that has been attached to my family. Lord, pray to me, cut off that evil hand. Attached to my children. Cut off that evil hand. we pray Amen. 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 You know, when we are talking of evil hand, evil hand can be as a result, can can come in various forms. You have a daughter that is up to the age of getting married. And the interest in getting married is not even coming to her. It's as a result of evil hand. You don't know what the enemy might have done to have taken the feelings, the, the affection of marriage from the life, from the heart of that young lady. Maybe you have a husband and it's running around. His eyes is also after other women out there. You know, it, it can be as a form of evil hand. You know, maybe you are working and it looks as if you are not working. It can be as a result of, of evil hands. You will take that prayer once again, Lord. Every form of evil hand attached to my life and family. 
cut them off. Lord, cut them off. Let them, let those evil hands be cut off. From this very day, every hand of evil, every attachment of evil hand in my life and family, Lord Jesus, cut them off. Entirely cut them off. Completely cut them off. 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 Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Whatever is the attachment of evil hands, whatever is the attachment of evil hands, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Someone is here with us and you are having a case, maybe in your country, you are having a case with somebody in your country, or maybe someone is dragging your land with you. You will pray and talk to the Lord. Whatever case it might be that you are facing or you are going through right now, pray. So, Lord, settle this case for me. Open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. You are there, you are having a case to settle. You are having a case that is you are finding difficult to handle. Lord, settle this case for me. I don't know what is the case that, is, that you are facing now. I don't know what is the case that is giving you problems. I don't know what is the case that is giving you a lot of heartache right now. Lord, this is the thing I bring before you today. Set to this case for me. Set to this case for me. Set to this case for me. Lord, set to this case for me. Let Lord, set to this case for me. Lord, set to this case for me. Set to this case for me. That case that is making that no, you are being threatened. So you no, you are being threatened because of this case. You are being dressed. Ah, Lord, set to this case for me. Intervene in this case. Intervene in this case. I invite you into this case, God. Come and intervene. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You know, we don't have much time. Again, you will pray and talk to the Lord. Lord, this prayer line, take it far. The people who have not heard about this prayer line, Lord, touch them to be part of us. Publicize this prayer line for us. Lord, publicize this prayer line for us. Open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. Lord, publicize this prayer line. Take this prayer line far. Take this prayer line far. Take this prayer line far. We need all the people to join us in this prayer line so that God will do one down in the life of everyone. Lord, publicize this prayer line. Talk to the Lord about it and the Lord will publicize this prayer line. The Lord himself will do it. The Lord himself will do it. In Jesus, my dear name, we pray. Amen. 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 You will pray once again, Lord, every family participating in this in today's prayer, give them testimony. Give them Amen. victory. Give them success. Give them victory. Take your mother and talk to the Lord. Every family, anyone participating in today's prayer, give them victory. Give them Give them victory. Give them, you know, you know, accomplishment. In the name of Jesus. Every family, Lord, whatever is their heart is like, whatever they are believing you for, whatever they are looking up to you for, let them be testimony. Let them be songs of joy. Let them be Break through in their life. Let us solve every difficulty for every family. Solve every challenge for every family. Solve every problem for every family. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want us I want us all to lift up the church of God in uh, Charlotte. Pray the Lord will build that church. 
The Bible says, upon this, the Bible says, upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Father, build the church of God in Talos. Let the people, let there be salvation in that church. Let there be holiness in that church. Let there be the same occasion in that church. Build that church, O Lord. Build your church, O Lord. Build your church in Talos. Build your church in Talos. We need you to build your church. Lord, do it for us. Lord, do it for us. We are longing for you to build the church of God in Talos. Oh Lord, pray you will do this. Talk to the Lord. Pray, Father, build your church. 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 We cannot but pray for Nigeria. I'm sure everyone has been seeing, hearing, you know, all that has been happening in Nigeria. There's a lot of trouble, trouble here and there in Nigeria. We we'll pray that the Lord God Almighty will intervene in the affairs of Nigeria, and that the Amen. Lord will bring, and that the Lord will bring peace in Nigeria. Hope your mouth and pray. Lord, we need your peace in Nigeria. Let there be peace in Nigeria. Every look and cranny of Nigeria, Father, let there be peace. 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 peace. Whosoever the Satan is using, whosoever that is enemy to this country, Nigeria, Lord, you will disappoint them. You will disappoint every enemy of Nigeria. Let there be disappointment in them. Father, disappoint every enemies of this country, Nigeria. Do it for us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Before we round up, I want every one of us to please join me in prayer. Let's pray for our pastor, Pastor Matthew. Pray that the Lord will give him more wisdom, more strength, more ability, more power, more auction. The Lord will give him, give all to him, and that the Lord will keep the wife. That the wife will be a strong supporter to him in this ministry of God. Through her, the ministry will go far and near. Through the wife being a supporter to him, the ministry will go far and near. And the Lord will keep the children. Those children, oh, the Lord will keep them. They will be no. They will. They will. They will. They will come out in flying colors in their education careers. They will do exploit for the Lord. Please join me in prayer. Pray for that family. Pray for that family. The Lord will lift that family up. The Lord will keep that family. All their endeavors, all their plans, all their wish. The Lord will grant unto them in Jesus' name. Amen. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I appreciate the Lord because He has answered our prayers. The Lord, I thank you because you have answered our prayers. Thank you because you have done it. Thank you because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for this short time. We have to call upon your name today. Thank you for keeping every one of us and for helping us to witness this new month of August. Thank you because of your love and your affection upon us in each family. Thank you because of the testimonies you have been given unto us. Father, we say may your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we believe and we know that with you all things are possible. And you told us in your word that distance is not a barrier to what you will do or what you can do. Lord, I lift up this individual that is looking up unto you for a new car. Lord, I don't know whom that person is, is believing you for a new car. Lord, in any way 
you can you can do anything lord provide for this person looking up to you for this new car in jesus name amen as this individual has, has said and the type of car he needs lord provide for he or she in the name of jesus amen and i pray for this other man i don't know him you know him is fair is short in complexion lord whatever his case may be whatever the trials or the persecutions is passing through right now lord any country this man may be lord you will support him amen father you will support this man in the name of jesus amen all that he has been believing you for all that he has been looking up to you for oh lord i pray you will grant unto him his desires in jesus name amen lord i pray for everyone participating in this prayer line let there be success in every family amen let there be breakthrough in every family Amen. Let there be testimony in every families in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, Lord, I pray. If Jesus tarries next week, Thursday, by the time we meet together again, Lord, you will move mightily in our midst in Jesus' name. Amen. Our pastors, Pastor Matthew. Pastor Ali, Lord, more grace, more power, more auction, more revelation of your word, you will give unto them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you because we know you have answered our prayers. Whatever has been causing sorrow in the life of anyone, Lord, wipe away the sorrows out of the eyes of your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to inform every one of us that um, this month of August, we are kicking up with our Saturday morning prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Saturday morning prayer, and then I've discussed with Pastor Matthew. Pastor Hali is also aware we are kicking up this month of August, and for you, to, for me to inform you all, is starting this first Saturday. Praise the Lord. Amen. So as we have taken this Thursday prayer so serious, please Saturday prayer, let's all take it serious. Though we know the time difference here in Nigeria and also over there in the United States, but please, whatever time you get from Pastor Matthew, please let's take it serious, let's have it in mind, and let's be punctual. And as we do, the Lord will bless each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. All our efforts, all our prayers, none will be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you and God bless you all. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's share the grace together. May the Amen. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of God's Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Jolly, goodness and mercy shall follow us. Lord, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. See you on Saturday. Uh, we ask for the time so that we pass the time to everyone of us. Thank you. Sorry, can we also debate the time? Can we debate the time in okay, case... Uh, can we debate the time, please? To be convenient for everybody. Everybody. Yes, especially those in the United States. Can we debate the wait, time? Wait, if we take ten uh, or nine, if we take nine o'clock, okay? Yeah? That means we be two o'clock uh, in Nigeria. 
I would have Nine suggested. Eight. I would have suggested. Nine a.m. or p.m. Uh, no, a. 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 Oh, okay, that's fine. Can we also hear from the pastor in United uh, Emirates? What time should would it would it be okay for you, sir? It's not online today. I'm saying I'm okay. not saying it's not online today. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I would have suggested the uh, first thing in the morning over there in um, yeah. United States. I don't know when you wake yeah. up over there. I would have suggested first thing in the morning before you do anything. The reason is that I will go to work and okay. I will not come back until right 8 o'clock. But I think okay, okay. Okay. Somebody okay, is okay. Too. Okay, Somebody is okay. okay, you say what? Okay. 7 a.m. is okay. 7 a.m. Uh, so a. The reason that I don't want to be exclusive. Yes, I also no. suggested 7 a.m. It should be something we do first. It's called early morning prayer with the Lord. So early morning. Let's put it to 8, please, because of me. Because I'm okay. I work in the night. Yes, sir. And I will be not fine. come back. I work from 11 to 7, like 7, 15, 7, 30. So yeah. let's say I struggle to get out of the world by seven thirty. By we don't have excuses, so whose who's uh, excuse is gonna be accepted? Yeah. <laughs> Come again. We all have excuses, so whose uh-huh. excuses of most priority? So the thing is that we should just pick a time and uh, we should all make. Yes, that's what you are excuse. trying to do now. Thank you very much, ma. That's all. Yeah. So please let us take. I think it's something the church supposed to pick, and not just for a debate. Because when you keep Come saying again. a debate, it's something the church should pick, not for a debate. Right. When right. you are saying okay. a debate, okay. everybody will be bringing their own time in. Right. Then that is right. not how it's supposed to be. Okay, Pastor Matthew, can you please give us a time? Okay, no problem. It's okay. Is Pastor Ali there? Can you hear us? Yes, I'm with you, sir. Okay. Pastor Ali, are you with us? So that means one in Nigeria. No problem. One o'clock. Yeah. Okay, no and problem. It's okay. And, and, and why it's good for you to prepare for the work class meeting in the uh, yeah. in Nigeria. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. But what is that possible? I will tell you ahead uh, because they will, so we we uh switch the time in United States. But let us forget that one. Now at that time we are going to talk about it. So eight o'clock in United States, one in Nigeria. One, uh, okay. Eight, 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 eight. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. God bless all you. Right. you all. God bless you all. We have appreciate you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all the contributors. We are very, very Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you.